All right, so you're wondering how much it costs to live in Long Beach. Well, I made this video about a year ago, so it is time for an upgrade because obviously prices have changed. So this is the new version of how much it costs to live in Long Beach, California, 2021. Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about the cost of living right here in Long Beach. And we're gonna be talking about the housing market, whether you want to buy or rent. We're gonna talk about transportation, utilities, childcare. Here's a pro tip. Have the childcare lined up before you relocate to Long Beach. Because remember, the good ones are in demand. We're gonna talk about healthcare. We're gonna compare this to some of our neighbors to the north of us and neighbors to the south of us and see how Long Beach compares on the national average. So let's get started. Let's get some business out of the way before we jump to the meat and potatoes of this topic. My name is Steve Arthur and I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach area and all of the surrounding cities. Now, if this is our first time meeting here on YouTube, Two things, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I could really use some self-esteem. And two, go ahead and ring that bell so you will be notified every single time that I do put out a video. And I do put out these videos every single week, all about Long Beach, all about the surrounding cities, and all about the things that you wanna know about. And I have seriously been helping so many families and people relocate from across the nation and even in Canada now, or families that are looking to achieve their retirement dreams in another state, I have been helping them out too through this channel. And I absolutely love it when people get hold of me through this channel. So if you or anybody that you may know is thinking about relocating to the Long Beach area or moving out of state to go live your retirement life, all you gotta do is give me a call, shoot me a text, send an email, or just register on my website for your free gift and I will personally reach out to you so we can discuss your real estate goals here in Long Beach. Now what obviously makes California and Long Beach for that matter more expensive than the national average is obviously the housing market, the real estate market. Well duh. Where the national medium home price, the average is at $295,000 right now. But at the beginning of last year, it was at 230. Well, now in Long Beach, we're looking at about 640,000 for the medium price home. And at the beginning of last year, it was in the low 600s. Okay, so here we have a two bedroom, two bath, 1,276 square foot for 649,900. Let's check it out. Clean exterior, clean interior. Beautiful hardwood floors, arched doorways there. Remodeled kitchen, upgraded. Beautiful home. Beautiful master bedroom. Mirrored closet, sliders. Beautiful hardwood floors. And a lap pool, check that out. This house will not last long at all. Beautiful home. And then over here we have a condo for $649. Five, two bedroom, two bath. Very clean, 1,816 square foot. Move in ready, beautiful granite countertops. This condo is move in ready. Recess lighting, central heat and air but you're always gonna have the association dues with a condo and those are at $395. And here we have a three bedroom, one and a half bath, $669,500. Now this is basically just a blank canvas. It is ready for you to create a beautiful home in. Not a whole lot to it. Just you put your touches in there to make it yours. And let's face it, we all know why people want to relocate here to California. We have the weather, we have the beach, we have the scenery. 
That's what I'm talking about. Now, in a little bit, I'm gonna show you a map of the surrounding cities of Long Beach and how much it costs to live in those cities also. And yes, I've already said it, Long Beach is higher than the national average. But when you look at some of our neighbors up to the north and you look at some of our neighbors down to the south, there are some considerably more expensive cities than Long Beach. But the median income due to our really good job levels is actually really high. So what about renting? Renting is absolutely nuts in California. It's just crazy. It's hard and it's expensive. And right now there are a lot of different scenarios where it just makes a lot more sense to actually buy a home than to rent a home. In the long run, it will be so much cheaper for you. Here we have a one bedroom, one bath, 750 square foot for 1400 and a 500 square foot for 1400 now here we have a two bedroom, one bath for 2250, 1732 square foot. Next to it, we also have a three bedroom, two bath for 2290 a month. And now we have a three bedroom, two bath for $3,000 a month. It's 1232 square foot. So you get the gist of where the range is going here with the bedroom count. Well, now we talked about you getting into a home. Let's talk about your utilities. Your gas, water, electric, sewage. Now that's gonna run you about a buck 75 a month. And let's face it, we're in Long Beach. It's in our name description, beach. So we don't need to run the air conditioning 24 seven. I don't even have it at my home and I'm 10 miles from the beach. I still get that offshore breeze coming. So I just open up the front door, open up the back door, have the cross ventilation and it is good. I do know other folks who run their AC 24 seven and their bills are seven, eight, nine hundred dollars a month. Wow. Well, in the winters, the winters can be chilly, but not like Green Bay cold, frozen tundra, stuff like that. No, it gets chilly. In the summertime, I have a quart of wood delivered. I stack it and that costs me $300. And instead of blaring the heat, I just burn the wood in my fireplace. But recently it's been a little bit chilly at night and we've had no burn days. So our last bill was at $300. But here's a pro tip about fireplaces here in California. If you're looking for a home and you absolutely want a fireplace, don't think that you're going to be able to remodel a home and build a fireplace into it. It's not gonna happen with all the codes and restrictions. The fireplace that they will allow, your flame will be about yeah, this big. Pretty pathetic, even for mood lighting. And my neighbor across the street put two fireplaces. Uh, she just rebuilt her house. She put two fireplaces in and she is very, very disappointed. You have to look for a home with the existing brick fireplace. You can leave that brick fireplace standing leave a wall standing and tear down the rest of the house. That fireplace will be grandfathered in. So you have your new place to live, whether you're buying it or renting it, you have your utilities in place. So how are you gonna get to work? Well, Long Beach is ranked 27th in the nation for being a bike friendly city. So let's start off with the most famous bike path that Long Beach has to offer, obviously on the beach. That's a 3.1 mile long bike path with two lanes of directions and a pedestrian lane. So everything flows smooth and that will take you from downtown Long Beach all the way to the LA Riverbed where you can take the LA Riverbed bike path as far as you want. We also have designated bike lanes throughout the city, coned off, all painted up in green. And even if you don't have a bike, well, we do have bike sharing stations for you also. So if you don't want to be a pedal pusher, and I get that, who wants to show up to work all sweaty after a bike ride? I don't. So just like any other major city, we do have every available form of transportation. We have the Metro in Long Beach. It is called the Blue Line. Now the Blue Line will take you from downtown Long Beach to downtown LA if you want. And cost for that is one way $1.75, a one day pass $7, a seven day pass $25, a 30 day pass $100, and a life 30 day pass for low income is $76. They also offer discounts for seniors, handicapped, and students. 
but it is truly a great alternative to sitting in traffic because you can get work done, you can talk, you can just listen to your headphones, word of advice, just don't fall asleep on the train. You, you, you might lose something. But again, just like any other city, we have Uber, tech, public buses. But the one thing we cannot forget here is the Aqualink. Now the Aqualink is a great form of transportation for getting around the Long Beach Harbor. You can just go out there for fun on a weekend and enjoy the day. I think it's $5 per person. Uh, they have a full bar on the boat and there's so many stops. You can go to the Aquarium of the Pacific, the Queen Mary, you can go down to P.F. Chang's, uh, Bubba Gump Shrimp Company, all the restaurant rows right in there. There's just a lot to do. Fun ride. So if you're a driver and I get in the thought of any other transportation, just this is not for you. Well, Long Beach is located right. We got a great freeway system. We have the 405, the 710, the 91, the 605, all right there. Right now, the national average for gas is at 266. And right now here in Long Beach, it is at, and I just paid 379.9. Oh. You have your place, whether you bought it or renting, you're working, you've got your transportation all settled in. But what do you work for? You can go out and enjoy all the fabulous nightlife and the gourmet restaurants that the beach has to offer. Now, a good meal at a good restaurant is gonna run you like 50 to 60 bucks per couple, plus libations if that's what you're into. What's really cool here though is we had a big surge in micropub. So now we have a pretty good selection of all these pubs to choose from, so they are always in competition with their food, with their drinks, with their support for the kiddos. So they make it a complete, fun, friendly, family atmosphere. And these pubs are going out of the way and they're doing a fantastic job. And the nightlife? Well, the nightlife can be off the hook here. I've heard. You have 2nd Street and 4th Street where you can just basically walk from place to place to continue the party. Downtown Long Beach, same thing. All these great, great venues. If you'd like to go see great bands, you have the Gas Slam. And tickets for that start off at around $20, depending on the band that it's playing. And there is so much to do, it just depends on how much you want to spend and what exactly do you want to do. And of course, we are California, so we do have our fair share of legalized weed dispensaries. Now, these weed dispensaries are very, very clean. They're secure. Nobody just hangs around outside, so there's nobody shady around. They get people in and out. There has never been an incident in Long Beach that I have heard of. The only negatives about the weed dispensaries are they are pretty expensive, I've heard. It's about $35 an eighth plus a heavy tax. But you're getting a little too happy, you want some more and uh, just don't feel like driving. For a minimum order of $50, they will deliver to your home. All you have to have is just your ID showing that you're 21 years old and you will have access to everything for your own personal medical use. Right after your dispensary tour, you might get a little hungry, so the groceries here in Long Beach, well, just right at the national average, so no change there. So you can live in Ohio or live here and pretty much pay the same for your grocery. But we did bring up marijuana as medical use, so let's talk about healthcare here. Now, healthcare is also where Long Beach does shine a little bit because we are below the national average for cost and we have exceptionally great health. So before we wrap this up, I want to show you a local map of some of the surrounding cities and how much it costs to live in those cities. And we're going to start off heading down south to our first neighbor in Orange County, that is Seal Beach. Now, in Seal Beach, the median priced home is at $1.2 million, and that is up from $961,000 last year. Now next we're going to go to the north of us, right above the 91 freeway, to Bellflower, where the median price home is at $627,000, and that is up from last year when it was at $575,000. Right to our next door neighbor, where everybody confuses Long Beach with, and that is Lakewood. And Lakewood, the median price home took a huge increase this year. It's at $680,000 compared to last year at this point when it was at $618,000.
that is huge. Next, we're gonna go to the west of us, to the other side of the 110 freeway, to Torrance, when it didn't do a whole lot this year, where the medium priced home is at $890,000. It is up though from $872,000. And let's head back down south to Huntington Beach, one of my favorite towns. Now Huntington Beach, there was absolutely no change. Your medium priced home is at a million dollars, exactly where it was a year ago. And like I said earlier, my name is Steve Arthur and I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach area and all the surrounding city. So if, if you have any questions about any of the neighborhoods that you're thinking about relocating, just reach out to me so I'll do the research for you because there are a lot of little niche neighborhoods such as the arts district if you want more of a walkable neighborhood meaning you want to walk to the stores to your restaurants to to shops or if you want more of a family big front yard type neighborhood or you just want to know about those up and coming neighborhoods so you might just need that direction as to where to start and that's where i come in so that together we can find your perfect neighborhood for your lifestyle so I hope you enjoyed this video a little bit and found it entertaining. If you did, go ahead and give me a like and uh, leave a comment down below. I can handle it good, bad, whatever you want, okay? And I will answer them all down right there. And until next time, you take care.